Hello everyone, this is Mr. Clom Perrins, and I've created this presentation to inform you about my next educational tour, which will take place during spring break of the 2019-2020 school year, which is April 4th to the 11th, 2020. I developed a passion for travel when I had the opportunity to spend a summer of college at Oxford University in England. I got to travel all over England and Scotland during that summer, and I loved it so much that I brought my wife back there for our honeymoon. Although most of my trips begin and end in Rome, uh, just uh, three years ago, I had the chance to go to London with a, a group of ISC students, and just three weeks ago, I returned with uh, 22 travelers from uh, Rome, Venice, and Florence. This coming trip will be my 13th to Europe and my 10th trip touring with students. I chose the new itinerary because I wanted to walk on the beaches of Monaco's Golden Coast. It just seems so exotic and, and beautiful. And I wanted to climb the Tower of Pisa, which I didn't get the chance to do the last time I was in Pisa. Uh, this tour offers a nice balance of learning and fun from an exotic resort, ta resort town like Monaco and then Nice uh, to the busy antiquity of downtown Rome. Uh, from the festive and artistic streets of Florence to the quiet and medieval mysticism of Assisi. This tour is about a balance of different travel flavors. International travel has expanded the experience and worldview of every one of my students who uh, has had a chance to travel with me without exception. And I really mean that every student says the same thing. They tell me the experience was worth every dollar and they would do it again in a second. There's something about traveling in Europe that develops independence and confidence in, in my students. After a trip like this, they feel like there's nothing they can't accomplish. It makes them feel more marketable and uh, not just feel marketable, they become more marketable because they can tell employers and colleges that they have experience of other world cultures firsthand. I am so impressed with the effect of travel on my own students that I've taken my four oldest children with me on tour. The last tour I came back with my daughter Trinity, who just had turned 16. And on this next trip, I plan to bring my 13-year-old son, Christian, who will at that point be uh, 15. This will be my sixth trip traveling with Explorica. And I love this company. They treat their teachers and their students like gold. On our last trip, the Pope closed St. Peter's Basilica on the day that we were scheduled to visit. Things like that happen on tour, and it has nothing to do with Explorica. They had no control over that. But they went out of their way to make sure that we could see the Basilica on the last day of our tour when it hadn't been scheduled. And they also paid for free gondola rides for us in Venice um, because they knew that we were there was some disappointment about missing St. Peter's on the day it was scheduled. Explorica is just amazing. And the tour directors who accompany us on tour, they love children just as much as they love teaching. They do everything in their power to make the travel experience amazing and unique for every student. Often, uh, parents worry about safety when it comes to international travel. And one of my reasons that I signed up for one of my students from the last trip missed out because her parents got worried at the last minute and decided to pull her out of the trip. Um, and often, parents, for without reason, get concerned. But after 12 European trips, I can say confidently that Europe is at least as safe, if not safer, than the United States. There are crazy people in Marysville, just like in Europe. You can't escape from crazy by staying home. We have problems right here in the U.S., even in our own schools, unfortunately, and it's much more likely that we'll all get struck by lightning than that anything would ever happen to us on a trip to Italy. When you experience the streets of Rome, with literally thousands and thousands of middle school and high school students from touring companies like Explorica crowding the streets, and you can see that in the slideshow of my not last trip, you can see the, the crowds of kids all over Rome then um, you can feel the fears and apprehensions that you may have just melt away uh, when you see especially how normal it is for kids 
to travel and experience European culture um, with confidence. Explorica has offices and support all over the world. We'll have a full-time professional tour director who is a native of Europe with us at all times. If there's ever a problem, the most common of which being travel sickness and dehydration, which at least one kid will will um, be a little travel sick, the, the solution isn't far away. Because this is not a, pro uh, sorry, because this is a private tour and not a run through the school district, it's important to know that Explorica has comprehensive liability coverage as well as affordable individual travel protection plans for our students. And I'll, I'll let you know a little bit more about those later in the show. Here are a few photos from some of my past tours. We'll see some of the places in these pictures. I threw in a few others just so that you can get a feel for different places in Europe in case you want to travel with me in the future when I do one of those trips. In the upper left, you can see my group that visited Pompeii in the south of Italy. Uh, my daughter Sophie is kneeling to my left in the front row. In the upper right, you'll see a group of mine that visited northern Italy. The picture is of Siena uh, in the Tuscany region of Italy, which we will visit. And uh, we'll get to see Siena's rival city, Florence, on our tour. The lower pictures show my wife and me in front of the Arch of Constantine in Rome. That's right by the Colosseum, which, and we will visit that. And it also shows uh, my wife and I in, at the Parthenon in Greece, which, if you want to see, you have to come on a trip with me later. In the upper left of this slide, you can see one of my previous groups inside the Colosseum. For most of the major sites like the Colosseum, we'll have professional guides to teach us about all the interesting history and culture of everything we see. In the upper right, you'll see another of my tour groups with St. Peter's Dome, designed by Michelangelo in the background. The bottom two photos show the Roman Forum, which we'll see on day seven. And the bottom right shows a boat ride around the island of, of Capri, which if you want to see, you'll have to come with me again on a later trip. On this trip, we'll visit the Côte d'Azur, which is French for Golden Coast. This region of France on the Mediterranean Sea is just a few miles from Italy, and it's a resort destination for American movie stars and wealthy business people from all over the world. We'll see Florence's famous Duomo, a word which in Italian just means the dome. And Florence is the center of the Italian Renaissance, the workplace of Michelangelo and Raphael and Da Vinci. So there's no better place uh, to see art and experience uh, Renaissance culture than in Florence. We'll also see the Colosseum, the most iconic of Roman sites. We'll get to go in and see the, um, we'll see the inside and outside. And our tour guide will give us every detail about the, that building, that amazing ancient Roman building. Um, and also on the first day of Rome, we'll walk over to the famous Trevi Fountain and toss in a coin and enjoy some great gelato, which is one of the things that always draws me back to, to Italy, at least a gelato a day that keeps the doctor away. And here is our tour itinerary. You can pause the video at this point if you want to read the details. I'll just give you a bit of commentary. The first day of our trip is our flight. So generally we'll check in at SeaTac around noon and fly from Seattle to a destination like Frankfurt, Germany, which takes about nine hours. That was our itinerary on this last flight. Then we'll sl switch planes and finish our journey with a two hour flight to Rome. The first flight is long, but it's, um, it's a lot more comfortable than our domestic flights. There's a lot more leg room and lots of movies to watch, um, new releases and so the time pretty, goes pretty quickly. Our second and third days are spent in France, enjoying the sparkling blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea on the coast of Monaco. We'll also get acquainted with the beautiful French city of Nice, spelled as if you would say it, nice. But it's pronounced Nice. On our fourth day, we'll leave France and head down to Tuscany. Uh, on the way, we'll stop in Pisa to see Galileo's stomping grounds. Uh, including the Cathedral of Pisa and the iconic Leaning Tower. That night, we'll enjoy a pizza din dinner in downtown Florence. The fifth day is packed with the art and history of Florence. There's so much to see in Florence. We'll 
forego the day trip to Siena in order to have enough time to explore um, the uh, to explore Florence in, in depth. On the sixth day, we'll head down to Rome, but on the way, we'll stop in the splendid medieval religious town of Assisi, the hometown of St. Francis. In this town, you'll step back many centuries and see Italy as it was even before the Renaissance took hold. On that evening, we'll get our first taste of Rome, exploring the Campus Mar Martius region of the city, where you'll find and we'll explore the Trevi Fountain, the Pantheon, the Spanish Steps, and the Piazza Navona. The seventh day is the busiest of all, with visits to the ancient parts of Rome, including the Colosseum and the Forum, as well as the religious side of the city, with visits to the Vatican Museums and St. Peter's Basilica. On the eighth day, we'll say ciao to Rome and make our way back to Seattle, uh, arriving only a few hours after we leave Rome because we cross so many time zones. Uh, and when we finally do get back, few, if any, of your kids' friends will have so many spring break stories and adventures to share when they get back to their classes on Monday. This trip has a unique exotic itinerary and a really great pace. I know the kids and the adults who come along will appreciate it. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to capture the tour experience with just words and pictures. So here's a short video from Explorica to give you a feel for the full tour experience. I'm very glad that you're starting your exploration of Rome with this building. I am very excited to see the Colosseum. It's like one of my favorite buildings ever. Rome as a whole is just like, oh, it's, it's like history and like embodied. In Latin class or in history class, when you read these books yeah. and you like read about these people and you think, oh my gosh, they were here. Yeah. Like they walked here. This is we walk the same path. This as is so amazing. Guys. I mean, a man who walks a thousand miles to wind up at your door. <laughs> the Spanish Steps. Piazza Spagna, named after the Spanish Embassy to the Holy See, is located at the bottom. It's 136 steps, and they're a very popular meeting place for Romans. Rome itself, I love Roman history, so just imagining like being in the Pantheon and imagining what it would have been like to be a Roman and to walk the streets and everything. You know, every city has a history, but it doesn't have one that's so ingrained in your brain in school. Um, so it was really interesting to kind of plant yourself in the history that is Rome. And I ate like most of my body weight in gelato. Kit Kat. Chocolate and mint chocolate. Kit Kat and strawberry. Coconut and tiramisu. Cream caramel and strawberry. Peanut butter on Nutella. Mint and Zupa Inglese. It's perfect. There's nothing better than Italian food. But my favorite thing is the Vatican. Headed to the Vatican. Excited to see the Sistine Chapel. Oh, beautiful masterpiece by Michelangelo. Actually, super excited. But to actually see it in real life, and it's, it's just, it's breathtaking. Perfect, andiamo, let's go guys. We have a lot of dance parties. I was able to come on the trip and make friends and relate to people. Everybody's in the same scenario you are. They all want, um, want to learn and they're all here for the same exact reasons usually. Here it's, it's move around, see, learn, learn, learn. Um, it's amazing how much we can actually do in a day. I didn't think it was actually possible. Being a history person, I thought that was really cool to like plant myself in a completely different culture. Explorica did a good job of like allowing us to be a part of a culture. You're not just stuck in your little high school bubble. Brings the uh, history you learn to life.
Hopefully that video gave you a little taste of an Explora Couture. While touring, our director will regularly post to our official online tour diary, including photos and descriptions of the day's activities. You'll probably have so many instant messages and Snapchats and texts and Instagrams from your kids, though, that the online diary will be superfluous. But still, it's nice to know it's there just in case. The value of an Explora Couture is simply amazing. I just did a search on cheaptickets.com to see how much it would cost to go to Rome. And the average price for a round-trip ticket, and that was for an itinerary where there were multiple stops on the way, not like our one-stop trip. Uh, and the average was around $2,000 for a round-trip ticket, just for the plane ticket. Explorica is able to do, run a tour like ours, which includes the airfare and the buses and the hotel rooms and our guides and our tour director who's with us the whole time and breakfast and dinner every day for around $3,000. I don't know how they're able to offer so much for so little. I If you try to do it on your own and you should give it a try, um, well, first of all, starting with your round trip ticket for $2,000. Um, you end up getting about half of the features that you get with Explorica, and uh, you could easily double the price. Uh, I tried it one time, and I'll never do it again. Explorica is definitely the way to go. So tours like this are both fun and educational. Uh, it really does make learning fun. By completing a few assignments before and after the tour, like a photo journal, students can earn high school credit for free and up to five college credits through Eastern Washington University for a small fee per credit. You can check explorica.com for details on earning credit on the tour. While the price for the tour is as low really as it could be, it's still a significant investment. My wife and I just bought our daughter her first inexpensive 15-year-old used car and it costs just about the same as our tour. However, the memories of our last trip to Italy, I'd say are worth 10 times the, the price of that car. Explorica also makes it really easy to pay for the trip. My favorite uh, way to pay is through the payment plan, which is why I always schedule these trips far in advance so that uh, the payments are reasonable. If there's ever an automatic payment plan for anything, I always go for that. Uh, but if it is easier for you, you can do the quarterly plan um, and of of course, if you uh, finance the trip through a, a bank or or credit card, or if you just have cash, my last trip was the first time I actually had two people who just wrote checks. Um, that had never happened before. Um, you can, of, of course, pay for it in one lump sum. Explorica makes it easy for your uh, child to create fundraiser pages, and there's a financial assistance plan for low-income families. So the, op the application for that is completely confidential. I don't know who applied, and I don't know who gets a discount. Um, in short, um, Explorica has tried to make international travel accessible to everyone, regardless of your own your income. Uh, when I went to Oxford in the summer of my uh, junior year of college, um, I used uh, student loans. And so I paid for it with debt, but I paid it off a few years after graduation, and I never regretted borrowing the money to go to Oxford. For a trip like this, if the payment plans are too steep, uh, there are a lot of other longer-term borrowing options. My credit union offers a personal loan for $5,000 for 5% interest, and there's home equity lines of credit that offer longer terms and lower rates. And if your child is motivated, just a few babysitting jobs or house cleanings or maintenance projects per month, uh, let alone if they actually got a, a regular job, if they're a good student and they and they can keep disciplined and balance their work and school, you could easily net half of the monthly payment and uh, leave just $75 for the parents. There are a lot of ways to pay for a trip like this, so it really ends up coming down to how motivated the child is and the parents to make it happen. So if you want to ensure your investment on the trip, Explorica offers plans for that. Uh, there are um, Those are entirely optional, but recommended, and, and most students end up uh, they do end up signing up in the end to um, give them peace of mind while planning the trip. Enrolling in the tour is incredibly easy. 
you can go to explorica.com and then type in my last name. You can check the slide for spelling, but it's K-L-O-M-P-A-R-E-N-S-641. A second option is to call Explorica directly at 1-888-310-7121. A third option is to complete a paper application and return it by mail. But um, in my experience of doing these tours for the last 15 years, nobody has ever done a paper application. So I suggest going online. Uh, our price on this tour is guaranteed until the end of this month. Friends and family members are welcome. I usually have at least one older relative accompany us on tour. Uh, and for this last trip that I just came back from three weeks ago, I had four adults other than uh, myself and my wife. So we had quite a few parents and relatives who came along. Uh, to save your spot and to lock in uh, the tour price, uh, all you need is a $50 deposit, not the first payment. And the, um, the address for the registration page to pay the $50 registration is explorica.com forward slash clomperens-641. I'm looking forward, looking forward to traveling with uh, all of you. Uh, these trips are one of the highlights of my year, and I hope I have a large group going with me uh, to Italy in 2020. Please email me with any questions you may have. There are no dumb questions. Seriously, ask anything about the trips you want or come to the informational open house where I'll be happy to answer um, all of your travel questions in person. Thank you so much for watching.